Merry Christmas! It is the morning of Christmas Eve and we're already starting preparing for tonight's dinner. Derek was up early with the turkeys. Look at that, that is not a full turkey. That is a turkey breast. I don't know how I missed that when I bought it, but thank goodness we have this big guy here. And Derek's playing with his Christmas present. He got a new smoker and it's from Z Grills. And he's been eyeing this for about a year. We could actually fit really big turkeys or other was a Traeger and we love the Traeger too, but this holds a ton. He just put that in and this one's been going for probably about an hour. When I got up at seven this morning, I put some rolls down on a baking sheet. They're Rhodes rolls. I was gonna make rolls, but I was like, I'm gonna cut that out this year. These were frozen and they're just laying out. They're starting to thaw and spread out, so they'll start rising. But it is eight in the morning and I think I'm gonna start on the stuffing. I actually wanna make it in our slow cooker today. Mm, it's so good in the slow cooker. First, I need an apron. While those are sauteing, I'm gonna get working on the cranberry sauce. I have a bag of frozen cranberries. I'm not gonna make as much as I did for Thanksgiving. So we're gonna only do half of the recipe. And then we're gonna need some sliced strawberries. Oh, it's so good. So easy, cranberries, strawberries, sugar, and water. Bam, cranberry sauce. They're popping. So when they're popping, you're gonna hit it with those strawberries. Mix this. I also have tapioca in there to thicken it up as well. Get those strawberries pretty much melted through, then turn it off the heat, pour it in your bowl. I am going to let this sit here for a minute so it could cool, then I'll wrap it and put it in the refrigerator. This will thicken and it'll be delicious over the turkey. I added the herbs on and we have parsley, sage, poultry seasoning, thyme, marjoram, salt. So I'm mixing this all together and now we'll add it to our bread cubes, mix it all up and then add some chicken stock and get it in our slow cooker. I moistened the cubes with the chicken stock. They're still a little dry because when you're doing it in the slow cooker, you're creating moisture. But we're gonna start this on high for about an hour and then go from there on low. We're planning on dinner anywhere between three and 4 p.m. I am gonna make a charcuterie board and they could just start picking and that'll be like be our lunch. So I wanna get the shrimp dip and the cranberry salsa that I want on my charcuterie board made right now. So I can let it chill for just a little bit. I'm gonna get cleaning up, and then we're on round two. We're in my food storage room and we're coming in to grab some shrimp for the shrimp dip. So two cans of shrimp, which is impossible to find right now. I bought these earlier in the year on a sale. Thank goodness, can't find them. And I still have my celery out. We'll also need some green onion for our salsa. I'll do that in just a minute. Let's get the shrimp dip made. And we need mayo. I should have had my cream cheese out to soften. Whoops, oh well. I could put it in the microwave and soften it up in there. I also shared with you some really good deals that I got at Smith's. Butter for $2.99 with the digital coupon and cream cheese that came to like around $1.70, 80 can't remember. Well, I ran into Macy's last night. Derek and I went in there to find pastry dough to do turnovers, all gone. We've gone to every store here in our area, all gone. But they did have cream cheese on sale 
This came to $1.50 a bar. So I grabbed four of those. And their butter was also on sale for $2.99 if you used a digital coupon. Uh, you would get a dollar off each. You got to use the coupon five times. So I got more butter and they're in our freezer. Watch for these sales. See what you gotta do to get the deal and this is how you stock up. So you can create this and have things in your freezers. So when you can't find it, you're good to go. The only issue I'm having right now that I might need Derek to go to the store for. I thought I was good on eggs. I have two cartons of eggs right here. I forgot that I did say yes to deviled eggs for tomorrow's dinner with the whole family. I gotta look at my breakfast casserole recipe. I think it's 12 eggs. So if I have 12 eggs, I'm still baking cookies today. We're gonna do some more Italian Christmas cookies. I might not have enough eggs. I'm gonna go ask my mother-in-law what her egg situation looks like because our chickens aren't laying. That was bad planning on my part. I really thought I had more. I am gonna take out this cream cheese for the cranberry salsa so it can get to room temperature. We're gonna get this shrimp dip going. Rinsed off my cans. We're gonna open these up, drain them, and get them in here. I don't know where I got this nifty thing. This drains like tuna fish. Put it in your can, press down, and drain. It has holes in it. How cool is that? Don't worry about squishing your shrimp. It's all getting mixed in the bowl. Should have done this last night, but we went to a fun dinner theater play that we always do every Christmas at Desert Star Playhouse. We always go to their Christmas show, either on Shaylee's birthday or right around it. So by the time we got home, it was late, and we just finished wrapping the last few things that we just bought, because we had wrapped earlier, thank goodness. So I, I was kind of hoping to get ahead with maybe some baking and things, but yeah. Oh, I need Worcestershire sauce for this. Worcestershire. Can you guys say that? Worcestershire? I grew up in Worcester, Mass. Massachusetts, so I know how to say Worcester. Or Worcester. Worcester, Worcester. We say Worcester. Or when I had an accent, Worcester. You know, my kids saw videos of me growing up with my accent. They were like, that's you. I'm like, I know, I sounded so different. Oh, garlic salt, seasoned salt. Derek actually met me when I was 18 with my accent. It's pretty much gone now. Unless I get angry. Okay, so I very lightly season this because I'm afraid to over salt anything. Oh, that's the big part. We don't want the big part, we want the sprinkle part. Oh my gosh. It's like my deviled eggs. I like very lightly salt those. A few dashes of Worcestershire. All right, that is mixed good. I added a little more salt, a little more Worcestershire, but the longer this sits, it like just gets better and better. So this is the dish that I'm gonna use on our charcuterie board with it. So I'm gonna put some in here, wrap it up, get it in the fridge, and then the rest I will wrap up in a smaller container and put it in the refrigerator. Ooh, it's so pretty. It is so good, you guys. I am blind. I forgot I bought eggs while at Smith's. Oh my gosh. Two 18 count. My gosh, you guys. It was right in front of me. There's just so much going on. Chopping up my cranberries. Then I'll add the jalapenos in. Green onion, cilantro, sugar, cumin, lime juice. I didn't wait for the cranberries to thaw. So it's pretty smooth for a salsa that I like. So this is good to go. I'm gonna wrap this bowl up, put it in the fridge, and then put the rest of the salsa in another container. So we have cranberry salsa for today and for Christmas day. Okay, I'm just going over my notes um, here. My the dinner plan for tonight. Turkeys are going. We already did the shrimp dip and the cranberry salsa. We'll work on the grazing board here in just a little while. Rolls are rising, stuffing is going, cranberry sauce is done. So I'm gonna start on the baking. Apple pie, I'm not doing. My mother-in-law is doing an apple pie and she's working on that right now. All of these were for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Okay, let's do pumpkin pies because they gotta get in the oven. All right, so here's my pie crust. Shop in my shelves and we're gonna grab this big can of pumpkin. And then we're gonna need some evaporated milk. Oh wow, these have risen quite well. I might need to throw these in now while I'm working on the pumpkin pie.
We got the pies in the oven, rolls are done, it smells so good in here. So now I am going to work on my grazing board, charcuterie board. I found this at Costco, it's so beautiful. I have some red and green grapes that, oh, I got it at Sam's Club, they look so good. We're gonna wash those up and we'll just start assembling. We are making the green bean casserole, so I'm gonna need two cans of cream of mushroom soup. I need to grab four cans of cut green beans. smells so good. The only thing we've cooked on that new smoker is pork, so we're really excited to have turkey. Hey, there are eight minutes left on the Instant Pot, and we're in a good, good spot. We've done the grazing board, the shrimp dip, the cranberry salsa. All I have to do is go get the gravy. I'm not, we're skipping the veggies. Our veggies are gonna be the green bean casserole and the creamed corn. Our turkey actually finished quite early. We are having dinner sooner. 50 minutes early. So what we could do for tonight is we could pick on all the fixings and we can add more to our grazing board and we're good. So we're gonna be making some more desserts, the Italian Christmas cookies. And of course we have to have Italian Christmas cookies for tonight, right? And then I'll get out the sparkling cider. So all I'm gonna work on right now is, while the Instapot is still going, is the creamed corn. Look at that, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna cover this up. For gravy tonight, I just shot my shells. I had two roasted turkey gravies and I just heated it in the microwave and I'm gonna pour it into the gravy boat. Oh, the breast is done. Look at that. That looks good. Look at that skin. Mm. So this has been resting for a good 30 minutes. It's smoke. done. It's smoke. smoke. Look at that smoke ring. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna carve while I mash potatoes. Oh no, we have milk. We've been flying through our milk. I'm gonna open a can of evaporated milk. What you could do to make it more like milk is equal parts of evaporated milk and water, and you've got milk. 
Shake it real good. Woo! That's good. That's real good. Does anyone want to lick a mashed potato beater? Yum. Mashed potatoes. Mmm, stuffing is done. It always looks darker when it's made in the slow cooker. I don't know why. It just does, but it tastes amazing. But this bowl is ready. Slow cooker stuffing, easy, yummy. All right, the table's already broken down. Dishes are washed, dishwasher is running. So now I'm just gonna get everything in the fridge. We'll work on this, get it bagged up, and that turkey breast. And we'll start baking some Christmas cookies. Yum, Italian cookies. We're gonna do anise and lemon. I have just a little bit of the Italian Christmas cookies from the last run that I did. These are weeks old, so we are gonna have some fresh cookies. Mm. It's only 5.38. It's like a very early Christmas Eve for us, which is great, I'm tired, but this is so fun. This is so fun. Cooking for the family, making those traditions that you just love. We're working on this guy here, getting all that rest off. It's juicy, oh my goodness. I already have a bag filled with turkey. We'll do recipes with those. And then I'm gonna add the bones from this one to the other one. And we're gonna make a we're gonna stock. We're gonna have lots of soup this week. Mm -hmm. We'll make a yummy turkey stock with all the bones. We just did our Christmas jammies. Oh, aren't they cute? It even comes with a matching scrunchie. The boys are in theirs. <laughs> it's giving the dogs water. Anyone have to go to the bathroom? We did our Christmas evening. It was so good. All right, it is like quarter to eight. I'm exhausted. It feels, like 10 it feels like literally 10, 11 at night. I am so tired. I'm done. I'm gonna work on breakfast in the morning. I, I have no room in either refrigerator to put a casserole dish. Okay, so we're gonna go to church at 9 a.m. I'm gonna rise early, get ready, make the casserole, and we'll put it in the oven, and then we'll leave for church. Church is an hour, because it has to cook for like an hour to 70 minutes, and then we'll bake cookies. I'm done. I'm going to bed. Good night. I'll see you in a second.
Well, a sign of a good time. Look at this. Paige is a happy girl. Oh my, happy, happy day. All right, that was a good morning. We went to church while the casserole was cooking. Callie and Felix got here, they took it out of the oven. It was delicious, I'm full. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen, family's gonna help. So I forgot that I said I would also make jello, so I wanted to make a jello salad. I didn't buy pretzels, because I forgot, but I had a little bit left of pecans in a bag, so I just banged them out with my rolling pin. So this should be two cups. If you'd like to see the recipe for my raspberry jello salad, I'll leave it below, but today I'm gonna do it with strawberries. Okay, I have my oven preheating again to 350 for the crust of the jello salad. Have my cream cheese on the stove softening to room temperature. And then I just pulled out two containers of whipped topping for the jello that are gonna start thawing out on the warm stove as well. So I'm gonna get going and make this so I can get it in the fridge so it could set up. And then I gotta start making deviled eggs and then we're gonna saute or steam up some asparagus for tonight's dinner. Okay, we got the melted butter and sugar with the crushed up pecans going in the oven for 10 minutes. I dissolved the strawberry jello in the two cups of boiling hot water. Now I'm adding all these frozen strawberries, whatever's left in this bag. So you add your strawberries in, those will thaw out in your jello. And this is the topping that you're gonna put on at the end. So I'm just gonna take this off the stove. I think I'm gonna pour it in a bowl to help it cool down faster. Same with this, I put the crust, it's all done, uh, on a rack so it can start cooling underneath so I can get this in the fridge. All right, eggs are done for deviled eggs. All right, I've got eggs in the Bosch getting ready for Italian Christmas cookies. We are going to mix up the cream cheese filling for the pretzel salad. I have a Thanksgiving binder and a Christmas binder and it has all our recipes that we use. And all my recipes are scattered in a box because I'm working on our cookbook. So I've had to look online, watch videos for all of my holiday recipes because everything is on the computer and in a box. So stay tuned, there will be a She's in Her Apron cookbook. Yes! All right, I need to fill up my sugar jar. I already have cream cheese in my bowl. I need a cup of sugar and then we're gonna beat that with the cream cheese. It will be a little lumpy, but it is as smooth as I can get it right now, so we'll get this on top. And then you pour it on. And now, we're gonna pour it in. <laughs> All right, now get the jello down. Just, um, tomorrow I'm going outside. I'm gonna wrap this up and get it in the refrigerator. Thank goodness I had the pecan, because I would have to get creative and do macadamia nut or pistachio. Oh, that could've been good. Crust. Just taking the eggs out and putting them in an ice bath. They're so much easier to peel this way. Gonna let them sit for a few minutes. And now I need to start on the Italian cookies because it's just not Christmas without the Italian cookies. We're gonna need a lot of flour for the cookies that we're doing. I have a full video on the cookies for ya. But um, I'm doubling the lemon cookie recipe and then I'm gonna do the anise. And then we're gonna need lemon extract. You need to melt some shortening, but make sure it cools off because you don't want it to like cook your eggs. We need some sugar. And since I'm doubling, eight cups of flour. It's a little sticky still, so I'm gonna add a little more flour. Oh, I almost forgot the salt. Still not too late. Guys, I am not doing good today. I'm forgetting everything. I mean, I think I'm in such a rush. I forgot to put baking powder in. Just like the salt, I'm gonna put it in and mix it together. It makes a difference. All right, so I roll them into balls. My mom does bows. I don't ever have time for that. 400 degrees for about seven minutes. Sometimes they need eight. It all depends on your oven. That's why 
I moved him up to the top rack. They were getting brown at the bottom. Put him for eight minutes, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna roast up some asparagus. So I have it on a big cookie sheet. The oven is at 425 degrees. I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil and just some random seasonings and get this going. And it'll cook for about 15 minutes. Mmm. I just ate one, it tastes so good. So I'm gonna put this on a plate and we'll go upstairs and we'll have Christmas dinner. Okay, it is Monday, the day after Christmas. The family's coming back over. We're pulling all the leftovers together, the pork, the turkey, all the fixings. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. But first, I'm gonna make a charcuterie board. This is so good. I can have a charcuterie board every day for lunch. It's the best. So we have brie cheese, olives, an herb and garlic brie, some gluten-free crackers, Irish cheddar, fontina, salamis, and grapes and pickles and different spreads like pumpkin and chili fig spread. Ooh, yum. Macadamia nuts, along with some cream cheese and some of the cranberry salsa as well. Christmas 2022 is done. It was so great to have the whole family together. Thank you so much for coming and joining our Christmas, all the cooking, all the preparing. If you would like to see what you could do with all your holiday leftovers, some recipes, click on the video here. And I have other great meal ideas for you right here as well. I'll meet you over there. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.